Hello, welcome in the next part. Firstly, we will move this. Here. Okay. And now select this, go to Edit Poly, select this border, this edge, sorry, and use create shape from selection, liner, okay. Now you can hide this, select this spline. Convert to a poly. Okay, now copy this and flip. Now select this polygon and insert. Okay, now add turbo smooth. Okay, now we will create one part here. I found some picture in Google. Okay, so create plane. Like this. Okay. Now we can rotate it a little. It's a little blurry, so first I will use some splines like first video. Okay, so. Let's create some circle. Okay. Now some line. Okay, you can select this and use and go to vertex mode and use uh, sorry fillet. Okay, now copy this. We can attach this. Okay. And move, move this paste here. Okay. We can add symmetry modifier. Uh, doesn't work. Okay, so. Never mind. Press shift to create stretch line. Hmm, 
maybe not. Maybe like this. On height grid. Press G. Now set up snapping to grid points. And we will create line. Something like that. Okay. Now I can move this down or move this vertex here. Okay. Something like that, so maybe save it. Let's start from here, so create we can create tube. Okay, use a line tool. Okay. Okay, now convert it to poly. Select this polygons and light. This we can cap. Now move everything here. Select this border. Create new polygons. Okay, now select mm. Wait a second Okay, select this And delete Okay, now select this edge and press shift and create new. Okay, now here. Okay, now we can align this. Okay, now mm. select this vertex and use symmetry. Okay, now we can select this border and cap. Okay, now mm.
Okay, now select this and use inset. Okay, need to fix this. Maybe use cut. No, hmm. Connect this and delete this side. Okay. Now here we can use maybe well this use cut tool. Remove this. Okay. Now same thing here. Remove, okay. No. Hmm. Okay, hide this. Okay, create cylinder. Again, a line tool. Okay, convert it to poly, select this, control I and delete. Now you can scale it. Okay. Mm. Here we can use cube. Okay, convert it to poly, select these polygons, control I, delete. Now this. So create plane. You can turn on snap. Mm, but set up vertex. Okay, snap. Mm. Okay, let's create here. Now, mm, yes, select this, convert it to poly, use quick slice. Okay, now press shift, drag. Okay, now use symmetry can move it okay convert it to poly we can remove this edge okay now select this and delete. Okay, now <coughs> set up pivot in center in all this object. Okay, now select one of these vertex and copy Y position and paste it. Here. Okay, now select all these 
object. Okay, now we can attach them. Okay, this we can delete. Now use target world here. Okay, now need to create okay mm, go to polygon select create press s and create some polygons here okay maybe here Need to add some edges here. Maybe two. Hmm. Okay, maybe move this down. <laughs> okay now I can stop this yes insert okay now use bevel you can use bevel or, uh, or extrude it doesn't matter. Okay, now 
like this use extrude ok like this <coughs> And now I need to add some support edge, so use cut to Here we need to target belt. Okay, now add some edges here. 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 Okay, and here. Now select this and use inset. Here the same. Okay, now I need to add some edges here. Okay, so like this vertex symmetry. Now apply turbo smooth. Oh, I forgot. Select this. Mm, use inset. Okay, and extrude. Okay, now need to add some edges. So select this. This. Connect. Okay. Now you, you can cut from here to here and here. Okay, now select this and this. Okay. And this and this. Connect. Okay. Hmm. Okay.
Hmm, something's wrong. Hmm, maybe like this. Hmm. Now I have two vertex here, so I need to weld them. Okay, maybe. What's uh, this here? Mm -hmm. Oh, need to add some support edge here. Okay, now looks fine. Okay, so need to add some line here. Okay, delay turbo smooth, convert it to poly. Now we can use maybe okay, great plane here. Now we use quick slice as for snap. Okay, we can delay this. Now select this vertex and rotate a little. Maybe we remove this here. Hmm, to scale it down. Hmm. It's a little too small. Okay, so we can move this little up. Okay, <coughs> now select this vertex and rotate. 
and move it back mm. maybe no select this vertex <coughs> and use FDD yeah no need to fix this Hmm. Not so much. Okay, how it looks. It almost invisible. Okay. Maybe add some edges here. Okay. Now we can cap this. Use insert and detach this as clone. Now move, select pivot in center, move it here. Okay. Select this border, move it back. Okay. Now create plane. So you can create box. Okay, now that's the argument. We can delete this. Now add some support edge. Okay, use symmetry. Okay, <coughs> now. Now we will create Okay. Mm -hmm. 
let's create line It doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Okay, now convert to it a poly. Can connect this. Okay, now share modifier. Convert it to poly. Add some edge here. Okay, now we need to move this. Okay, now create box. Okay, maybe something like that. Or okay. Now convert it to poly, select these polygons, use extrude, select by polygon. Mm, maybe. Okay, use extrude. Okay. Now add some support edge. Or um, wait, select this polygons, control I and delete. Okay, now select this, connect. Okay, now here. Okay, now select this border, 
press shift and scale it up now here I have graphite modeling tools you can turn on it here so select this part there go to edge mode go to loop loop tool and click circle now we need to rotate it a little something like that ok and scale it down ok now select this polygons and extrude ok now select these edges and add support edge ok now select this press shift and create new polygons now press shift again and move it back mm, something is wrong oh mm. select these edges this we don't need it, so remove ok Surely. Okay, never mind. Okay, now we can select this. Detach as clone. Oops. Hmm. What? My. Mm, that doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, wait a second. Okay. Select this. Detach. Okay, now we can hide this, select this, hide unselected, and now set up pivot in center. Okay, now copy this, maybe delay to be smooth. Copy this three times, okay, and use the line tool. Okay, now you can hide this, delete this, unhide all. Okay, now attach this. Okay, now oh, can I? detach this I should choose 
Let's go. Now I need to cap this. Okay. You can scale it a little. Okay. And you can move this back. Okay, maybe. Oh, never mind. Okay. Maybe I will move. Mm. Like this. And move all this and this down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Something was wrong here, so I need to move this. Okay, now we can create this so okay scale it down <coughs> okay now convert it to poly use shell modifier Convert it to poly. Now move this here. Now this convert it to poly. Go to compound object and use probable on. Select subtract and start picking and select our text. Okay, now we can create this, so text of um, okay, scale it down. Okay, convert to it a poly. Shell convert to it a poly. This 
detach okay move this here okay now create mm, maybe Wait a second. Convert to edit of spline. Move this here. Okay, now create rectangle. Okay, we need to scale this. Okay. Okay, now attach this, now convert it to poly, so, okay, move it back, now convert it to poly, Okay. This you can create similar, but I don't use. No, uh, I don't like use Rubberland because, as you can see, the wire after this is terrible. So I don't use it when I don't need. Okay. We can delete this. Okay, in the next part we will create this last part. And this will be the end of tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next part.